Hey everyone, Running Rabbits here, and today I bring you a collab I did with Great Art by Heart on YouTube and on Drawing Amino. We decided to collab, and in this collab we would be drawing our own OCs as mermaids when they're typically not mermaids. So go check out her video if you would like to see one of her OCs drawn as a mermaid. She has super duper cute art and you should go give her a subscribe and she's super kind. <laughs> so in this video I have my OC Anika or Anika. I, I'm pretty sure it's a German name. Don't get mad at me if I'm wrong with that. Um, so I don't really know how to correctly pronounce it, but you know, um, there's not, I don't really have much information on her. All I know is that she would be a good looking mermaid. So I made her a mermaid and that little heart on her shoulder is supposed to be a tattoo. I'm not very good at drawing tattoos. Um, so that's why it looks a bit awkward. <laughs> Also, this is the first time I have used my Prismacolor Color Premier pencils. I got the 132 set from one of my online friends for Christmas because he is super, super sweet. So yeah, if you're watching this, thank you again. <laughs> um, so I basically really wanted to try out these pencils since I have had them for about a month or a bit more than that. A bit, yeah, a bit more than a month, maybe two. Uh, time flies so fast, honestly. And I haven't really used them. I used them over my Copics a little bit, but that's about it. So yeah, I'm not very experienced with using colored pencils. I was just going absolutely crazy with all of these colors. There's so many to select from, and they were super smooth, like, butter like they were very they're very buttery <laughs> that sounds so silly but they went onto the paper um so smoothly and i am using mixed to media paper i was thinking about just using um a sheet in my sketchbook but i decided not to since i don't really know what kind of materials that sketchbook paper can withstand so I decided to go with the mixed media paper because it does say that you can use colored pencils on it or just pencil. And it worked out quite nicely. The colors turned out very vivid. You can't really tell in the recording, but you will see an image um, later on, like I always put. And you can see the actual true brightness of the colors. I had a very hard time coloring this piece, actually. Um, the tail was a nightmare. I just kept layering and layering and layering, and her face, I think, looked cuter in the sketch. That's the issue with sketches. They always look so much better than the actual piece. Like, the sketch just seems to have more life, but I do like how this, um, actually turned out. So, basically, I wanted to include pink in with her tail since um, one of the first drawings I did of Anika is she has a pink shirt on like a neon kind of pink so I just wanted to give her that since I'm going to assume that pink is one of her favorite colors and the other drawing I have of her she's wearing red so I you know I figured that the pink would look better with the color scheme um, yeah, I had a very, very difficult time coloring the tail in, and I just kept layering it and layering it and layering it with all sorts of different colors, and uh, the two dots that are on her face that you'll see later on, those are supposed to be piercings. I forget which kind of piercings they're called. They're either angel bites or snake bites. I forget. Uh, they're like, same thing, but different locations, so <laughs> I think they're angel bites. Um, so yeah, she's kind of a emo-y <laughs> mermaid. I actually like this design of her much more than her just regular human design. So I might keep her a mermaid because I think she looks pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys like uh, mermaid Anika, then tell me and maybe I'll keep her a mermaid. 
And uh, yeah, I'm s again, I am also sorry that I haven't been uploading very much. I recently got my computer back and I've been trying to set up how I can do like speed paints, like digital art, but it's also been so, so long since I've done anything digital that I'm very rusty. Um, I used to be somewhat decent at digital art and now it's just like, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> so yeah, also the recording software that I used to record my speed paints, um, when I would rarely record them, uh, it's out of, like, commission. Like, they don't provide the download or anything like that anymore, so I have to find a new one. A new free system, whatever, that doesn't sound horrible. And I don't like OBS. So, that's a lot of- that's a- what- I can't talk. A lot of artists use OBS, and I'm just not a fan of OBS. So I need to find something else. Um, it was at this point that I decided that it looked awkward for her to just be floating like that, so I wanted to add a rock she was sitting on, which was very difficult for me to draw. I don't know why, but I think it ended up turning out pretty nice. And, uh, yeah. When I was first starting this piece, I really didn't like it at all. But, um, I think I managed to save it, and I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. So again, this was a collab with Great Art by Heart, so go check out her channel. And I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please leave a comment, like, and a subscribe. It's always appreciated, and I hope you, I hope you all have a great day. Bye, guys!